He is legally allowed to carry a concealed weapon, but New Haven officials say a prominent attorney should have used better judgment when he went to a showing of The Dark Knight Rises last night with a loaded gun. The lawmaker is speaking out about his arrest. Jamie Mural has that story as well. As news quickly spread about a New Haven man arrested for bringing a 40 caliber handgun to The Dark Knight Rises, the man at the center of this controversy, attorney Sung Ho Huang, came to his own defense at an afternoon press conference. Why do law-abiding citizens feel that they need to carry a weapon? Not long after Huang spoke, some of the Elm City's most influential citizens took their turn with the press, congratulating the quick thinking of movie patrons to report him to police, as well as question why Huang would bring a gun to the Batman movie just weeks after 12 were shot dead in Aurora, Colorado. This situation was quickly, competently, and professionally handled. Sometimes just because something is legal doesn't make it right. Huang is licensed to carry a concealed gun. The issue has become, in part, a moral choice versus a legal right. He's charged with interfering with officers and breach of peace. Usually the catch-all is breach of peace. But if you read the breach of peace statutes, you cannot be charged with breach of peace when what you're doing is otherwise legal. Certified gun trainer Jonathan Hardy says Connecticut has some of the nation's strictest handgun laws and carrying a concealed handgun anywhere means a permitted person has undergone thorough training with background checks. It's not a lifestyle change when you decide to carry a firearm, it's a life change and you have to accept the responsibilities that come along with it. Police say Huang refused orders to put his hands up. Huang, acknowledging the Colorado victims, says this is all about safety. I live in downtown New Haven, and this movie was getting out at 1 a.m., so I felt that I should protect myself. 